Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today, we're gonna have a pineapple fragrance battle. All right, so today we're having a pineapple fragrance showdown. This has been a fairly requested video. A lot of people want me to give my opinion on a bunch of these pineapple fragrances. Are they redundant? Which one's better? All that kind of jazz. So I'm gonna go through four of them with you today. We're gonna to be taking a look at Kayad El Fursan by Latafa. We're also gonna be taking a look at Latafa's Rave Now. We're gonna be taking a look at our Moss Italiano Nero. And we're also gonna be taking a look at Swiss Arabian's Shock. So I'm gonna go through these fragrances, give you kind of a breakdown of each one, how they kind of compare to each other, how the performance is on these, and a general summary, my overall thoughts on these ones. So let's quit screwing around, and let's get into it. All right, so to start things off, I am going to talk about Latafa's Rave now and Latafa's Kayad El Fursan, because I do get quite a few questions about which one of these I prefer, which one is better, all that kind of jazz. So I'm gonna address these two and kind of compare them to the other ones as well. With the Latafa Rave now, I find this to be a fresher style of pineapple. So just think about cutting into a freshly ripened pineapple. And it does have some additional sweet notes in there. So it has this apple, little black currant, so it has some additional fruity notes in it. In the base, there's a little bit of vanilla and musk that come through as well as well as some soft floral, there's some jasmine in here. So it keeps that pineapple from becoming too thick, too cloying, too, too overly sweet. It balances it off with other sweet notes and a little bit of softness. The Cayet Alfresson, I find this to be kind of a deeper, darker, thicker syrupy style of pineapple. Very sweet style of pineapple, very pineapple forward, but it has like a little bit of amberiness to it. So it gets a little bit darker than the Rave now. And it has a little bit more thickness and a little bit more of a kind of a pushing sweetness that comes through with that style of pineapple. Very, very similar pineapple notes, but like I said, this one's a little bit fresher and this one has a little bit more darkness to it and a little bit more kind of a green in the base where it comes through, a little bit of fur balsam that comes through and a little bit more amber that comes through. So of the two, if you like a darker style of pineapple, a little bit thicker, a little bit sweeter, kind of like a dull fruit cup style of sweetness versus a fresh cut pineapple, that's kind of the difference between these two styles of pineapples. Next up, we'll take a look at Swiss Arabian's Shock. Now this style of pineapple is a little bit different than the Kayad Alfresson and the Rave Now. This one kind of goes in its own direction, but still has that pineapple forward scent accord going on to it. Has an added bergamot note at the top, which adds this additional citrus and this tart sort of vibe going on to it. So has that citrus, has that sweet pineapple, has that tart sort of vibe. And it also has that black currant, which adds a little bit of additional fruity sweetness to this. There is also some ambroxan, some amber, some birch, and a little bit of lily in the valley that's in here. So this birch note really does come forward. It gives it that kind of smoky woods sort of vibe and the amber comes through, giving it a warm, dusty style of texture. So this does kind of have that kind of Club de Nuit intense man, Creed Aventus style of like birchy smokeness mixing with that pineapple citrus style of accord. So this does differentiate from the Kayad Alfresson and the Rave in that sense. Still very pineapple forward, but it has that smoky sort of vibe to it. And it also has a little bit more kind of a warm sweetness working through, a little bit of a dusty texture that comes through. It sort of reminds me a little bit of Tarathi Blue in terms of how that kind of warm ambery sweetness mixes with that citrus. Not saying this smells like Tarathi Blue necessarily, but there is a similarity, there is an overlap in terms of how that warm ambery sweetness intermingles with those citrus notes. So, all in all, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more on the birchy side, has a little bit more greenness to it, but still maintains that nice, fresh, bright, tart style of pineapple, Swiss Rayway and Shock might be the one for you. All right, and last up, taking a look at our Moff's Italiano Nero. Now, in comparison to the other three, this one definitely has a different style of pineapple that comes through. In fact, there's not even a pineapple note listed in this fragrance, according to Fragrantica. It's a lemon and a bergamot that's up top, but through and through this comes through as a pineapple fragrance, but it's more of a kind of a zingy lemon citrus style of pineapple. It doesn't have that kind of that sweetness that comes through with the other pineapple fragrances in this list. This gets its sweetness from more kind of like this strawberry accord that works its way through. It has this ambery sweetness. There's a little bit of earthy patchouli that's mixed in there. And I'm not sure if it's the combination of some amber, patchouli, lavender, cypress that somehow forms this kind of strawberry accord that comes through. So it has that citrus zing to it. It has that kind of pineapple sort of vibe coming through, but the real sweetness is coming from this more of a strawberry accord, and it does have that patchouli, giving this a little bit more kind of an earthiness to it, the cypress that comes through, adds a little bit of green sharpness to it as well. So this is a much different fragrance than Kayad Alfresson, Rave Now, and the Shock. This one kind of goes in a completely different direction. Still a pineapple fragrance, but if you've smelt those other three, this one is not gonna smell like those ones. 
All right, so now we're gonna cover performance because we all know performance matters when it comes to these fragrances and that's gonna be an important part of your buying decision if you're looking at any of these fragrances. So we'll start with Latafa's Rave now. This one is the weakest performer of the bunch, at least off of my skin. Still a decent performer, but five, six hours of longevity off this and it does have moderate projection for the first hour and a half or so before it does really settle back in. So it does perform fairly well for a, you know, a very fresh pineapple style of fragrance, but all in all of this group, this one got me the least amount of performance. So our second best performers is actually a tie between Cayet Alfresan and Swiss Arabian's Shock. Off my skin, I got about six, seven hours for both of these fragrances and both of them pushed off pretty good for about an hour and a half, two hours before they did settle in. It's more of a skin scent at that point. So Again, for a pineapple fragrance, for more of the kind of fresh style of fragrances, these do perform fairly well. I am pleased with both of these fragrances in terms of their longevity, as well as their projection. And that just leaves our winner, which was Armas Italiano Nero. I, I get really good performance off of this one off my skin. I get eight hours of longevity, no problem. And this pushes off really hard for the first two hours when I'm wearing this one. I've had this bottle for a couple years. I've heard some people say they don't get as good a performance off this one. I'm not sure if there's reformulation. That's always kind of a thing. Could be a skin chemistry thing. But my bottle I got about two years ago off my skin. I get great performance. This is a borderline beast mode fragrance. So of all the fragrances in this pineapple list, Armoff Italiano Nero off my skin is the clear winner. All right, so some final thoughts and a summary of these pineapple fragrances. Latafa's Rave now, I like this fragrance. A very nice pineapple. It has that kind of photorealistic style of pineapple to it. Very fresh, has that kind of uplifting, summery sort of vibe going on to it. I do enjoy that kind of soft floral sweetness that comes through, that vanilla in the base, that muskiness as well that comes through. And the little touches of green. I think this is a great, fresh, realistic style of pineapple fragrance. Performance on this, like I said, is moderate. It's, you know, about average. So it's not a beast mode fragrance, but it does stand up fairly well. But if I have to, you know, choose, which I get a lot of questions about between it and Cayet Alfresan, I, I kind of have to go with Cayet Alfresan. They are very similar pineapple notes that come through. I just kind of enjoy the little bit kind of thicker, syrupy, sweet style of pineapple that comes through. It's just a very kind of in your face style of pineapple that I just enjoy over the over the rave now, which again, they're, they're so similar. They're very, very similar, but this one just comes across a little bit warmer, a little bit darker, and I do enjoy kind of the green that comes through, the little bit of that added kind of depth that comes through with Cayet Alfresan. And of course, I do get a little bit better performance off of this one. So if I had to choose personally between rave now and Cayet Alfresan, I would go with Cayenne Alfresan, but I, both, I think they're both great fragrances and it depends on what you're into. If you're looking for something fresher, go with Rave Now. If you're looking for something a little bit thicker, syrupy, sweeter, I think Cayenne Alfresan is just a fantastic choice. Now, when it comes to Swiss Arabian Shock, I really enjoy this one. This has, again, a very similar style of pineapple to those first two I mentioned, but it has that kind of additional tartness that comes through with that bergamot. The fruity accords that come through as well give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more character, and I really enjoy that birch note that comes through. It just adds that extra kind of smokiness to it, a little bit more kind of a boldness to it, a little bit more masculinity to it than those other two. So just in terms of character, that depth, and like I said, the performance on this is just as good as Cayet Alfresan's. So of all those three ones, I kind of lean towards shock in terms of like one of my favorite pineapple fragrances. But again, it depends on what you're looking for in a pineapple fragrance. If you're not into that kind of birchy feel, that little bit of added greenness to it, a little bit of embroxin that's mixed in there, you might want to steer away from this one and go with those other two. But for me personally, I really enjoy shock. Now, when it comes to the Armoff Italiano Nero, this one is the least pineapple centric of the bunch here. It's still a very much a pineapple fragrance, but that sweetness kind of shares the stage with that strawberry accord that I mentioned, has a little bit more of that earthy patchouli that comes through. And so again, it's a balance off between the pineapple, that strawberry accord, some of the earthy accords that come through and that little bit of freshness. So very nice fragrance. I do enjoy this one quite a bit. And like I said, performance is absolutely fantastic. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more pineapple centric, this one might not get you there in comparison to the other ones. But if you're looking for a nice balance between, you know, that strawberry scent accord, that patchouli sort of vibe going on to it with some nice citrusy pineapple, Armas Italiano Nero might be the one you're looking for. So that's my overall thoughts with all these pineapple fragrances. I hope this was helpful in terms of like a buying guide for everybody here. I'm not saying one is better than the other necessarily. I'm just giving you kind of a synopsis, a grand overview of these pineapple fragrances. And I hope it helps. And I want to hear from you guys. What's one of your favorite pineapple fragrances, whether it be one of the ones I mentioned in this video or something outside of this video. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your recommendations, your hidden gems, different tastes and scent profiles. 
appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.